It is now the sixth day in the Israel-Hamas humanitarian pause. Here are the most recent developments. 81 hostages and 180 Palestinian prisoners have been released over the course of the last five days. The pause is expected to end today, November 29th. Now the focus is on whether Qatar can negotiate another extension. The Israeli PM posted on X saying, quote, we are committed to continuing our mission, the return of all our abductees, the elimination of Hamas above and below ground, and the promise that Gaza will no longer pose a threat to the citizens of Israel. The United States supports further extension in the operational pause between Israel and Hamas. White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby said, quote, we want to see all the hostages released. And so if there can be an extended pause beyond these two-day extensions, we're in favor of that. Qatar hosted the spy chiefs from Israel's Mossad and the United States CIA. A source briefed on the matter said the officials discussed the possibility of a new phase to the truce deal, a phase where Hamas would release hostages who are men or military personnel, not just women and children. Qatar spoke to Hamas before the meeting to get a sense of what the group might agree to. Turkey's health minister said that Turkey hopes to set up field hospitals to start providing health services in Gaza. In a post on X, the health minister said a team had crossed into Gaza to determine the best sites for field hospitals. On November 29th, Turkey also sent a plane filled with medical supplies to the region. The World Health Organization said more Gazans could soon be dying of disease than from bombing. Many Gazans have no access to medicines, vaccines, safe water, or food. India has voted in favor of a draft resolution in the UN General Assembly that expressed deep concern over Israel not withdrawing from the Syrian Golan region. The Syrian Golan is a region in southwest Syria that was occupied by Israeli forces on June 5, 1967. Thank you for joining us for this update. Stay tuned as we continue to bring you the latest developments in this complex and evolving situation.